following question reads that a kite is in equilibrium at the end of a string as shown so there's a string uh, this is the weight of the kite and the kite is in equilibrium the kite has three forces acting on it the weight w so uh, this over here w is already shown this is over here uh, there's a tension t in the string so tension t is going to be in this direction tension t in the string the kite uh, the string is pulling the kite and the force f from the wind so the force from the wind would probably be in the opposite direction so it's probably going to be the other way uh, the wind would be pushing the kite in the opposite direction now you have uh, the kite has three forces acting on it the weight w the tension t uh, and the force f from the which vector diagram represents the forces acting on the kite so remember remember the general direction of each of the force uh, tension t the string is pulling the kite this way wind is pushing the kite the opposite way and w is uh, is pointing downwards that's the weight of the kite and all three forces are in equilibrium so the three vectors would connect each other in a circle you're going to start off and end at the same point uh, so if you look at the three uh, vector diagrams make sure uh, make sure that the that the forces are all uh, in the correct directions for example, if you look at option B, option B is not going to be the correct option because tension T is pointing in the wrong direction because if you look at the diagram, the string is pulling uh, pulling the kite in this direction. So, I have removed B. Similarly, if you look at option D, D would also be an incorrect option because uh, the force from the wind is pointing in the wrong direction. They've drawn a vector in this direction, but in our, di in our diagram, we know that the wind is pointing or pulling this uh, kite in the opposite direction so i've uh, gotten rid of d as well correct answer is going to be a because if you look at option a uh, you would notice that the vector diagram has been drawn correctly remember both in c and in a uh, the forces are pointing in the correct direction but the vector diagram in a has been drawn correctly remember there was zero resultant which means that if I apply the head to tail rule, if I start at uh, W and this is the first vector, then I then I attach the second vector uh, to the first vector and then I attach the third vector, the resultant is going to be zero because uh, they all reach the same point, which means there is no resultant. So A, according to A, resultant is zero, which is why I'm selecting selecting A. There is no resultant force, but the vector diagram for C has been drawn incorrectly because if you apply the head to tail rule, uh, there's a force, uh, the tension in the string that's pulling downwards, then the, then the second vector is attached to the first one, then W is actually acting as a resultant because if you start from the first tail and you end at the head of the second vector, then W is basically acting as a resultant of T and F, which is wrong because uh, what the diagram basically stated was that all three forces had no resultant they were they were at, they were at equilibrium they had no resultant which means that a head to tail vector diagram would come back and reach the same point there would be no resultant force 